Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. Last time we made it fairly deep into Angkor Wat and we turned into Freedan. This time I think, don't quote me, but I think I'm gonna turn back into Young Will. No, I think we're gonna get a power for Dark Free or Dark Freedan for Freedan, the Dark Knight. And like I said, don't quote me. I think we're gonna finish this dungeon. And we got Earthquaker. Earthquaker is Freedan's most useless ability, I think. Earthquaker is a dark power. Yeah, yeah. For a long time. When jumping down. So what that essentially means... Sorry, I kind of skipped that, but I'm just going to tell you about it right now. What that means is when Freedan jumps off of anything, and I press the attack button, I will hit the ground and stun enemies. The only reason this attack I find is so useless and is only really useful in this general area is because you need to jump off something. Let's demonstrate. That's what it means. And yes, I stun him. Sure, great, fine, dandy. Nice to see I couldn't really hurt him. There we go. Stuns him for a little while, though. In fact, a long while. Nope. But, I find beating stuff up with my sword is... Alright. This is where... Earthquaker is useful. Did I fail? I'm gonna exit and then enter. Cause I'm pretty sure I need to get to that Earthquaker and pass that jerk bag before he actually moves uh, in front of that passage there. Which is totally fine by me, it doesn't bother me one bit. I can totally do it and I can totally beat the tar out of him, there we go. But yeah, it's just got too many stipulations on it. And I don't think, really, they're worth it. Okay. Ah. Oh, the fun of the barrier. I think it's more fun. Dark Friar, when you level it up, is by far more useful just because of the sheer damage factor. I don't care if these guys go zipping around here. Ah. Except if it wasn't for this thing. This will haunt me in my dreams for as long as I live. Man, I'm getting so much life. If you take a look at our life bar, I found a red jewel. No. We only have six life upgrades to go. That is a good indication of how long we have left in this game. If we say I have six life upgrades to go, and if I get one more or two more in this dungeon, then how long do we really have left to go? I might have even missed a life upgrade. I don't think I did. I actually think I've done a really good job of not missing many things, except for a whole butt ton of red jewels because they're all in a very secretive spot. Oh, hey, look. A skeleton. Probably from one of the explorers. Yeah, here's Freezer. Not Frieza. Black crystal glasses. Hmm. 
Really? The main hall? No, I can't remember if that's the main main hall, or if this is the main hall. Urgh. Yeah, I can't recall if that actually helped me or hindered me. I'm gonna say it hindered me. Because that's the power of Earthquake. If you freeze an enemy in an invulnerable spot, they will be invulnerable. Oh, no. I did not mean to go there. I meant to jump down and not use Earthquaker because I said I don't really like it. Alright, there's only three enemies left in this area. I may as well take them out and be on my merry little way. That would make our final enemy... somewhere. Oh, way up there. Way up where? Can I hit him from here with a dark fryer? Apparently not. Oh. Ah. I'm a fool! Really? Okay, fine. I'll try to go around and do it the hard way. Or no, I won't. So once again, I have no idea how to get to this guy. But I want to kill him. I promise you I do. Is there one of these on the other side? This place is supposed to be right symmetrical. But I swear. Like I swear. Alright. So I think I'm gonna try and figure out how to get to this guy. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video and I'll come back after I killed him. See you soon. You know what? I said to heck with it. We're just gonna proceed. Yep, that's how I feel. To heck with it. Let's proceed. And mass zombie head killing. Yeah, remember that part I told you about where I was chased down by a thousand of them? I'm pretty sure this is that part. Back to your home. Go home. Oh no. I suppose Earthquake would be semi useful against these guys. But no. Chase you down? Really? Oh. Lame. There we go. The things I'll do for power ups. Gee. Also, that guy said I'm just skipping. I think we can actually get back out there onto the right side and do that from over here, maybe. I really don't want to miss him. Hey, we get the strength upgrade. Nice. And hey, look, a way out. And hey, look, it's the road to the main hall. And a defense upgrade. Oh, there it is. Something shiny on the ground. You found the black crystal glasses. Does anybody else notice that they put that on the screen incredibly slow? Perfect. Black crystal glasses. 
have a really bright room we need to go into. So, we are going to go and equip the black crystal glasses. I've got two herds, I'm pretty excited about that. I could use a whole bunch more. The floating crystal started to glow. Whoa -ho -ho. First natural instinct is to hit with sword. Whoops. Yes, I'm pretty sure if we uh, didn't have our black crystal glasses on, we would have just been booted out of this room. Oh man. Stupid floating zombie heads. Or wall trailing zombie heads. Yeah. How many enemies are left? Two. I think I can kill two enemies, but first... Gaia Portal. I don't know if I'm supposed to turn back into Young Will or not. Ooh. Sorry. I'm gonna talk to Gaia again. Why I made the journey. Okay. Continue my journey. I think there's a boss. I don't want to do that as Young Will. I don't think I need him for anything else, unless I run into a Psycho Slider spot. No, that portal is too contrived. I'm gonna need it again. I know it. Alright, back I go. There's a reason for everything in this game, albeit sometimes their reasoning is really not very good. Much like when Seth turned into a fish. There's a reason behind that. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe to tug at the heartstrings for a bit. I don't actually think you run into Seth. And now I'm going to start pointing out a couple of the flaws with this game. Uh, because, really, this game, yeah, there we go, it's made no sense to me in a lot of ways. Uh, the King? Yeah, do you guys remember the King? Threw me in prison at the very beginning of the game? Did anybody think he'd be a big evil in the game? Yeah, you know what? Don't think we ever see him again. That crystal ring. The crystal ring that he uh, really, really wanted for some reason. Yeah, you know what? I don't think that's ever talked about either. So really, things this game tells you to do and tells you about, they don't really happen. Like, they just trail off. This game is full of yeah and then comments or stories. I don't know. Maybe I'm nitpicking. Maybe I'm totally wrong, totally off base, like I have been for the entire thing. And maybe some people know a lot more profound stuff than I do. Who knows? Maybe this game is really smart, but I think they just didn't know what the heck they were doing. I also think I need to fall onto that, so I'm gonna try to. Man, that Psycho Dash is doing 17 damage? That's an insane amount of damage. Also notice Will has gotten insanely strong. I wonder how we're gonna make things so easy now. Because if Freedan and Will are kind of evening out on power levels here... What are we gonna do? Oh, poop. Well, it looks like I'm done chasing that thing down. It'll come back to me eventually. 